Welcome to 1.10's math moment. Today, students learn that a proportion is made up of two equal ratios. They use these today to solve factor puzzles, which should be a review of things they've already learned in this unit. So look at this factor puzzle we're going to solve using some information. It says Noreen saved $20 while Tim saved $35. When Noreen has saved $24, how much will Tim have saved? Look at the factor puzzle, we can see how these relate. We have Noreen and Tim already listed. We have their 20 and 35, which we already know. We've got 24 and then a missing value. I know that 20 and 35 both share a 5. So I'm going to put a 5 on the outside. I'm going to shoot that 5 across to the other side. I know something times 5 gives me 20. I know that is 4, because 4 times 5 is 20. Bring that 4 down, and I have to think, Something times 4 gives me 24. I know that's 6. I'm going to shoot that 6 right across. Now I need to look over here and see what I know over here. I've already got my 5 listed. 5 times something gives me 35. That's 7. Once I have my 7, I can pop that down over here. I know 6 times 7 is 42. So when Noreen has saved $24, Tim will have saved $42. Now, to go over to this table over here, we're going to use this information and put it in here as well. So when we start, I'm going to put my things I already know, my Noreen and Tim have my 20 and their $35. I also know they're going to have 24 and $42. I need to look for a pattern between these two numbers or how they're related. I can see that from 20 to 24, it's, we're adding $4. I'm looking at this 35 to 42, and I'm adding $7. So if I look at this one, if I add four more, I would have 28. And then when I take 42 plus seven, I get 49. I could also work backwards on this pattern as well. So I could take 20 minus four, which would give me 16, and I could take 35 minus seven, which would give me 28. Students can go ahead and continue these patterns to fill out um, the relationship between how much Noreen and Tim have saved. If you have any questions about 1.10, see your math teacher.